going on guys, Edifex here, and the new Need for Speed trailer just came out, it's just been released, I've watched it on E3, live, and wow, I mean, a lot of you may not know, I'm actually quite a big Need for Speed fan, I've loved the series for you know, a long time since Carbon, I didn't actually play most of until 2005, but since Carbon I've played Need for Speed, I, was, you know, I love the Need for Speed series, I love the whole, you know, kind of like the escape of the car. Uh, kind of vibe to it. I've, you know, I really like that. So, I've just watched the Need for Speed trailer. They had a trailer at the start. They had Marcus Nielsen come on stage, showcase the uh, customization. They've had a, you know, he's driving driving around LA, Ventura Bay, a new setting, and uh, I'm just, I'm just so hyped. I think this trailer looks awesome. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and play the trailer for you all, um, and then afterwards I'm just going to go through a few little screenshots of stuff that um, I picked out and I think you might have missed. So yeah, let's go ahead and play the trailer. Icons can drive you, push you to the edge, and around here, they will inspire you. For some, style is all that matters. Others build, searching for perfection. The fearless always push the limit or crave the thrill of the chase. Some only ride with their crew, but all do it for the reputation. How you drive, it's up to you. Okay, so first screenshot we have the uh, the Mustang here. So something else I want to point out here is the um, carbon fiber on the front splitter. We can see the carbon fiber looking really nice as well. Um, a lot of games kind of fail to get the carbon fiber look really nice. Um, GTA carbon fiber doesn't look that good. But um, yeah, for a change, this game's got really awesome carbon fiber. We're gonna have we're gonna probably be able to put carbon fiber parts on our cars, which is gonna be awesome. Also, we can see the custom body kit here. We've got the uh, screws on the side of the car, and also the green rims as well look awesome. So you know, we'll change the colour of our rims. But you know, we'd expect that from uh, New Speed, obviously. Right, next screenshot. We've got the. This is actually one of my favourite screenshots. We've got the Porsche 911 GT3 or Carrera. I'm not too sure which one. And then the new M3, obviously, which just looks so sick. Can't wait to customise the M3. Um, put some fat body kit on that, that looks really awesome. Moving on to the next screenshot, this is the possibly one of the other views we can use in the game. We've obviously we know we've got the outside one. Um, don't think there's going to be a copy view, there's never really been a proper dedicated copy view in Need for Speed, but um, there has been a, a sort of bonnet view before, so yeah, this could be another view that we could have in Need for Speed. Next screenshot, right, this is really interesting. I doubt a lot of you have probably noticed this in the original trailer because it happened within about a second, but basically that right there to the left is a Lamborghini Huracan. Tell me that's not a Lamborghini Huracan. We can see on the next screenshot as well right here, it's a Lamborghini Huracan. Um, <laughs> imagine putting a body kit on that, it's going to look so sick. Um, changing the exhaust, whatever, putting a massive spoiler on it. It's going to be awesome. So obviously, you know, we've got high-end cars in the game as well. So we'll probably start with something like a Subaru BRZ, Nissan 180SX. And, you know, these are the sort of cars that we can be working up towards, which is pretty awesome. And then the next screenshot we can see, um, you've obviously seen this already because it's the end of the trailer. But um, something I want to point out, um, we've got five characters here. These are probably the characters from the story. And also, we know, we've got five styles of play in Need for Speed. So we've got speed, style, build... Outlaw and crew. So my guess is that these five characters are linked to those styles of play. So maybe one guy is kind of like the build guy. I think that might be the guy with the long hair actually, because we in the gameplay we see this guy who talks about the body kits 
um, on the cars and stuff, so he might be the build guy, another guy could be the crew guy, whatever it is. And also I'd like to point out, on the second from the left, the guy with the hat on, looks suspiciously like Ken Block, I don't know, maybe that's just me, I'm not sure, but um, yeah, that's it for this video, um, hope you enjoy this trailer breakdown, I know it's something you don't really usually see on my channel, something a bit different, but as I've already said, I love Need for Speed, um, and I just couldn't resist making this video, just purely on that fact, so yeah, if you enjoy the video, please hit subscribe if you want to see more um, Need for Speed content, hopefully, and my usual graphic design as well, so yeah, hit subscribe if you want to see more, smack the like button for the new Need for Speed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one, peace.